So I was just gonna talk today a little bit about uh, why we decided to purchase a pontoon boat for our fleet. Um, up until now, so we've done two years and I've run just water sports boats. So our main focus has been taking people out water skiing, wakeboarding, tubing, stuff like that. Our boats are about 23 feet, so we have up to eight people on them for our water sports boats. And I'd say about 80% of people that come out with us usually are getting in the water and at least trying one or two activities. So now we're going into year three. Um, this past winter, I decided that it was time for us to buy a pontoon boat. So got a pretty good deal. Got a boat that's only about a year or two old and it's got like 60 hours on it. It's a 24 foot, can seat like 10 people. So I just wanted to go through some of the reasons on why we decided to buy one of these boats and uh, what we plan on doing with it. So as to what we're planning on doing with this boat, as far as like our services with it, one thing we're planning on doing is a two hour uh, pontoon charter. So basically cruise around the lake for about an hour, do a little bit of sightseeing and then anchor up for another hour where people could then, if they want to bring food or bring lunch or something, hang out, eat. We're gonna have a swimming mat so kids could go out, swim, hang out. Uh, so that's gonna be one offering. And then our other thing we're gonna offer is a pontoon and water sports package, which I think this might be a little niche and kind of do well. Um, so what you can do is reserve the pontoon boat and a water sports boat and sink. So each boat could have up to eight passengers on it. So you could have a total of up to 16 people. And then at that point, some people could hang out on the pontoon boat. Others could go out for skiing, tubing, all that kind of stuff. So I think that could work well for birthday parties. And uh, I could see some groups of, you know, two or three families maybe linking up and the parents kind of hanging back a little bit while the kids get to go out on the other boat. So I think that'll also be nice. Uh, excited to give it a try and, uh, and see how it does this season. So as of right now, this is still kind of an experiment. I haven't started the season with the new boat yet, but um, basically why we decided to do this, one of the reasons was that I kind of figured it would be a little bit less stressful running a pontoon boat. And uh, by that, I mean, people, are not going to be in the water as much so when we have it's a busy saturday or weekend and we have people out there water skiing wakeboarding tubing all that stuff people are constantly in the water they're falling and especially if there's heavy boat traffic it can get pretty stressful um, as we're growing and getting more boats there's you know a bigger crew and um, which kind of leads into the next reason is that finding people to run a pontoon boat is a little bit more doable than finding people that are super, super into water sports and really good at it. So with the water sports thing, you kind of have to have people that really get it. Um, even just like how you pull people up and you know just telling a beginner on skis versus someone who's done it a while there's just so many little technicalities that are um that are just difficult that that make it you know if you're not if you haven't grown up around it day in and day out it's going to be tricky it's also a lot of work uh with the the water sports thing helping people put skis on all that kind of stuff um it's Young. A lot of our crew is young, but it just really feels like it's a young man's game. And having a pontoon boat, I think, will be just another area to kind of experiment with a little bit and, and give it a shot. These four-stroke outboards, I've heard nothing but good things about in commercial applications that are on like the, like the pontoon boat, which has a Suzuki 115 outboard. So I'm really excited to give that a try and see how that does in a commercial setting. 
I think it's gonna be a lot lower on, on the maintenance side than our other boats, which again, should be hopefully a little less stressful to run and also you know, have less downtime and things of that nature. I will say it is, let's see what we got. April 6th, so it's still really early, but to date we do not have any bookings for the pontoon boat yet. Uh, water sports charters, I think we have about 40 bookings or so. So um, it is a new service and it'll take time. Curious to uh, curious to see how it does, but just wanted to put out there that uh, this is still an experiment basically. So we'll see how it does.